Am I supposed to take the side way, though? I mean, what kind of gamers would be if we didn't take the shortcut? Duh! This can't possibly have any negative repercussions. It's okay, it's a horse, right? Definitely a horse. What is going on everybody? Welcome back. My name is Pandalorian and on today's video on the channel we're going to be playing a little indie game called Out of Gas. From what I know is that this is a little horror game, a little psychological horror game if you want to sprinkle that across your little, little pizza slice. I don't know what I'm talking about today. Um, but it is a game by Seiko, which I don't know if I've played a game by them before. I might have. I might have to go back and look. Um, but regardless, I'm really excited. I had a decent day of work. I'm finally off. And now I get to go back to recording, which is the real best part of my day because you get to play with you guys. But before we get into it, as always, if you guys are new to the channel or you find yourselves returning, please feel free to leave a like on this video, comment down below, and feel free to subscribe as well as it is the best way to support me, support my channel. We are almost at our first channel goal of a thousand subscribers as of this video. I don't know if we'll hit it by the time it goes up, but I am so excited. I am so happy. And I just want to say in this video, another thank you as if I don't, I feel like I never say it enough. I know I say it a lot, but I don't say it enough. Thank you guys so much for watching these videos, commenting below, even just clicking on, being like, eh, maybe this isn't my cup of tea and clicking off. It really does mean the world that you guys give me the chance, as this is something that I've wanted to do since I was a kid. And you know what? I'm just going to stop with my rambling. Just thank you guys once more and hope that you enjoy this content. We're going to hit play and we're going to get right into it. So as always, it's going to be one of these games with a, obviously the graphics going to be more, more 32 bit, which is honestly way, way scarier. Sounds like running out of some gas. Oh, and before I forget as well, cheers to you guys. Gotta have our little cup of coffee. I think this one's called like Fall in Love with Fall or something like that. It's like a maple bourbon. Ugh. It is good coffee. Freshly brewed too. Oh, okay. Oh. Why is that in the bottom left? Is that my phone? <laughs> why? Why? Why is it why is it doing that? Oh, okay. So we have a flashlight. Do I have an escape button? No, so I... Oh, I need fuel. I don't know if there's an interact button. Is there a crouch? No, is there a sprint? I think so. Okay. So we need to find gas. F is our flashlight, and it looks like E is our interact button. Now, this game didn't mention anything about multiple endings. However, those are always more fun when you figure them out on your own. Now, I'm a little confused because I can't click my phone or anything, so I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. There's no map. There's no directions. So, let's see. Tab? Shift? Shift is run. There's no jump button. Like, am I supposed to be heading towards something specific? Because it didn't necessarily say anywhere. Oh, hang on. Hang on. We're reaching something here. What are you? Uh, 12 gas station? 1,500 or 150 meters away? I'm hoping that's meters and not miles. Um, am I supposed to take the sideway, though? I mean, what kind of gamers would be if we didn't take the shortcut? Duh. This can't possibly have any negative repercussions. It's okay, it's a horse, right? Definitely a horse. Uh, so th I'm assuming this is the United States. We're known for our wild horses in the middle of the, uh, the wilderness. Where we have seen no other horses or signs to be careful of horses. Just, you know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, sometimes when I watch these videos back after I edit them, I just sit there in absolute amazement that I was able to string these sentences together in any sort of coherent way. Oh, would you look at that? Exactly. True gamers take the shortcut. God, I hope I remember to bring my wallet. What are you? It's empty. Am I just gonna steal these? I would hope I'd be a little bit more courteous and pay. 
Um, hello? Can can you help me? I I, requ I require some gas. Um, my car is just about a mile up the road. Is there is there any? Okay, well you know, I'm I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Are you just going to sit there and ignore me? Really? Is this okay? You know what? Whatever. I'm just gonna take matters into my own hand. Look look at this. This place is absolutely filthy. What what would do something terrible like this? Um, uh, terrible. The only thing terrible in here is the customer service. Anyway, this is very oddly familiar that other gas station game I was playing the other day, and it, uh, it did not bode too well. Also, all jokes aside, this dude over here got fucking thoomed into the wall. Like, there is no face, no midsection. I just realized the leg is missing. That, that camera saw some shit. What is this? Oh, Henry's Diary. My first day at work. Oh, this is your first day. That sucks. Everything was great, and I didn't face any problems. Day two. Everything was great, except for some human-like screaming sounds coming from the woods. Maybe it's from an animal. First off. First off. First off. Your second day of work, and you hear some human-like screaming coming from the woods. There is no day three. There's no day three, four, five, 42. No. I quit. If this is an at will state, I will terminate my position myself immediately. Thank you. Send my last check to my house. Day three, the screaming got louder as if it was getting closer. And I also found some posters of missing people distributed around the place. Once again, if I was dumb enough to go back for a day three, that is the clear-cut sign. There is no day four. But you know what the end of this letter has? Ahem. Day four. I heard the sound of screaming again. But this time, it sounded like more than one. There are many people disappearing in this area. I am afraid because I work alone here, on an isolated road in the middle of the forest. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got seven bullets? Well, one of them's about to go in my head. I don't- I, I didn't- I didn't say I wanted to be doing any of this. Alright, okay, there's no ADS. What is any of this? I almost scared myself at the sight of the blood. Alright, who's trying to- Who's trying to fuck around and find out? Huh? Huh? I'm an American, you know what that means. This thing is brandished from the time I- what the f- Go away! What the fuck? Go away! What the hell? What the hell? Did I miss my shots? What? I gotta go all the way back there? I miss- How did I miss my shots? Alright. Give me a momento. Alright everybody, we are back. We have the gun. We are in the store. We are going to figure this out because the fact that I only have seven bullets and that thing ate every single one of them is a problem. Okay, that I just flung across and I'm assuming the thing isn't gonna like bum rush us until we pick up the gas canister. So I'm gonna check a lot of things before that time. Because I... <gasps> well, now we have one less bullet because for some reason the control button also fires. I'm so dead. I already feel it. I'm going to have to come all the way back here. Is there like... Is there a way I can just get gas from these things and not have to deal with anybody? No. Do I have to do this? I don't want to do this. Oh, boy. Oh boy, howdy. Uh, I, I already don't feel too good, Mr. Stark. Alright, come at me, bitch boy. I'm gonna blow your fucking head off. Die! Oh! I have unlimited bullets! Yeah! Yeah! This is what was making those screams. It looks terrifying. I hope there are no more. 
Uh, I hope so too, because I just talked a lot of shit about having unlimited bullets, and your boy does not have unlimited bullets. We are gonna take this gas canister, and we are gonna get the hell out of here. Oh boy, where was where is the road? It was like a little over here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was right here. You know, I just realized. Why am I taking the scenic route after that? I mean, is am I the alpha now? Am I am I the top dog? Oh, I hear crunk crunkling. I hear the crunkling of dirt beneath my boots. My boots. Oh, I don't like this. Everything keeps changing in colors. And it's very quiet. I have no bullets. I have just my phone. Some hopes, some dreams. And a, a Chuck E. Cheese ID card I got from my fifth birthday party that I think is actually still in the wallet I own to this day. Because there's always that little inner monologue that I have that if I ever got pulled over, if I showed that to a police officer, how would that go? I feel like he, he might get a little chuckle. He might give me one of those nose exhale laughs. But at the same time, I feel like I might not be making it home if I whip out my five-year-old Chuck E. Cheese ID. Why is there nothing coming to eat my bones? I feel like there definitely should be something coming to eat my bones. Also, am I just going to keep the gun? I feel like that's not a good thing. But I just kind of took the gun. What if somebody else needs it? Then again, maybe they don't. Because I, I, I am king. King of the forest beasts. And I command them to not harm any... Buddy anymore, get in the goddamn car. Get in the car. Get in the car. Get in the car. I am not their king. I am not their king. They don't want me as king. I'm waiting for the jump scare. Don't do it. Are we just gonna leave? Oh. Okay. Oh, I can actually breathe again. A little celebratory cup of coffee. Hmm. That was really good. All right, so that says thanks for playing Code and Design by Seiko. That was a really fun game. Minus the fact that I don't know if I just assumed I had less bullets than I actually did. Like if there was another like clip. Is it Clipper Magazine? I don't actually know. I forgot which is which. I know one is a clip, one is a mag. You guys can let me know down in the comments because I actually, oh, I can never really tell the difference and I'm too lazy to look at it myself. But I probably will after I'm doing this video anyway. But yeah, that was that was a really fun game. Um, I thought that there'd be like a another like hunt going on, like maybe another monster coming after us or a jump scare right at the end. But I, I'd say that game was a solid eight out of ten in my in my book. It was, it was it was fun. It did what it needed to do. It creeped me out, and it was a short little fun game. Uh, I also wanted to say to you guys before I start my little outro spiel, if you guys want me to start doing multiple of these games, like if I find that I record these games and they're a little bit shorter, like what does this say? Yeah, this says this video is probably only going to be about like maybe 15 minutes after I do a little bit of cutting around. So it's a little bit shorter. If you guys want like longer compilation videos, kind of like Markiplier's three scary games, I see people do like two scary games or they do like a, a compilation of like five or more. If you guys want to start seeing stuff like that instead of just the single videos, I can do that. I just know that I notice a lot of you guys really like the shorter videos um, as opposed to some of like the really, really long ones. But I can do longer ones because obviously if this is only like 10 to 15 minutes, doing two to three of them will make like a, a normal sized video for our channel. Or, you know, when we do big playthroughs, each episode is normally like 30 minutes to even maybe an hour. So if that's something you guys want, please let me know down in the comments below, as well as leaving a like on the video if you enjoyed and remembering to subscribe if you have not already as is the best way to support me, support the channel. And if you guys hit the bell notification, you get alerted when all this content reaches your sub box as soon as it drops. That's a good little payoff right there. I think I think we can work out a little trade deal with that. But that's the conversation for a different time. <laughs> but as always, at the end of these videos, I hope that you are all having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night post-watching this video. And I will see you all in the next one. Oh.